before it was just only a solder bath unit and it was uh, connected to a 100 volts AC power supply let's switch on the unit and it has a one toggle switch to power on it has also a manual adjustment for the temperature using a flat screwdriver to adjust the thermostat like that and when you use it on a dipping process it has no standard time that was a conventional solder bath unit okay now let me introduce to you the newly improved solder bath dipping process but before I continue let me show you how it was done from a defective solder bath unit we dismantle it and use the other parts like the base and the housing we also used to purchase parts like pots insulation materials and a converted 220 volts heater element then assemble it one by one piece by piece this part has no use so we just pull it out the cover the front toggle switch and the thermostat itself and this was the final result the heating element or the pot only on the housing and for the control we use the leftover control panel modify it put some extra hole for some extra control we used to add find the needed items on our storage from reuse items from disposed machines we got this indicator light switch sensor buzzer thermocontroller circuit breaker PLC solid state relay and thermocouple and that's how it was now let me uh, continue the demonstration for solder bath keeping time alarm and temperature control on the conventional solder bath we use a 100 volts AC to power the unit unlike this one no need for power supply of 100 volts the unit was directly plugged in to a 220 volts AC supply power on that's it now we switch on the unit then adjust the thermal controller to the required setting the good thing for this unit is you can see the actual temperature of the solder bath because of thermal controllers display now let me show you the inside part solid state relay PLC circuit breaker a bunch of indicator light thermal controller now I will show you how the dipping process work the production has a minimum requirements of three seconds per dipping this is how it works 
1, 2, 3. Good indicator light. Another one. Try. 1, 2, 3. That's the sensor. Another one. Below 3 seconds, the NG lights goes on and continuously buzzer. Reset. Let's try another under 3 seconds or below 3 seconds. NG. Another feature of this control, it was also capable of detecting obstruction like this. Sensor trouble. Intermittent. The alarm will not stop until you pull out or clean the area which the sensor is passing through. This will also eliminate the other cause of uh, sensor malfunction including the intentional blockage of the sensor. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.